Winter time, it's when reservoir levels drop to accommodate spring runoff. But at Fall Creek Reservoir, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is trying something new. KEZI 9 News anchor Sean Quare explains why water levels plummeted to historic lows. It's an amazing sight you'll see only on KEZI 9 News. Fall Creek Reservoir, it's one of 13 dams the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers regulates in the Willamette Valley. Craig Taylor, a fisheries biologist, takes us across to give us a better view of how low the water level is. In February, we'll start to refill, so we'll be letting out less water uh, than what's coming in. As Taylor explains, it's a balancing act. In winter and spring, engineers make sure there's enough room to accommodate runoff. During the summertime, they regulate and augment flow to maintain water quality. But something else they monitor, the ecosystem and fish. These structures here are the fish horns is what we call them. When the dam was built in the 1960s, engineers installed these horns for fish to pass through. But they never worked as planned. It had a high mortality rate associated with it. Two years ago, the Army Corps of Engineers tried a different approach, taking the water down to historic lows. So it dropped about 50 feet um, from where you're seeing it here, and so there was no reservoir left at that point. It was all the way down to stream bed. This is time-lapse video, the full drawdown, produced by National Marine Fisheries Service and Sanctuary Video Production and Design. For about three days in December, water flowed much like it did before the dam in the actual stream bed. Taylor is in charge of monitoring fish that pass through the gate. His team checked on 600 tagged juvenile salmon. All 600 passed through the gate. The fish that pass through at normal winter levels, survival rate came in 80 percent. When the water was at its lowest, it increased to 97 and a half percent almost a 20% improvement. But some residents voiced concern about what the reservoir looked like. Another issue, sediment deposited downstream. Taylor says that the sediment levels are lower this year than last year. And he expects if the winter drawdowns continue, the water quality will continue to improve. Most importantly, this alternative approach is helping fish survive. This is an alternative that we've come up with that is something we can do. Um, it's, it's not costly. And, and it's working well for the fish. In Lowell, Sean Cuellar, KEZI 9 News.